And not that far from the previous one, I found another one. <laughs> the game starts to like me, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Terraria. I'm gonna make to Terraria, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're gonna try to go back to the underground, I guess, or we could try to go to the to the uh, to the edge of the map and maybe try to find the sea, or maybe we're gonna try to do some building. I don't know. There's like a lot of options right now. Uh, yeah, I was actually doing some, you know, tree chopping and I found myself a squirrel. I, I got a pet basically. And he flies! <laughs> He's awesome! Now according to my calculations, we also should have a bunch of new NPCs, but we don't have currently any rooms for them. So how about we're gonna try to extend our basement a little a bit. And I got just the tool for that thing. It's called dynamite. RUN! It didn't explode! Thank you! <laughs> Actually, I was expecting a bit bigger explosion, you know? So I still got, uh, I believe, one more dynamite somewhere around here, so I'm gonna uh, use it. Okay. Right, climbing this tower is uh, it's a bit more hard than I have expected. Uh, right, let's make ourselves a sticky dynamite. I'm kinda hoping that the guy who can sell me explosives would move in. That would be a great addition to this entire, like, you know, encampment. Okay, run! Come on! And... Okay. Well, I can work with this thing, I guess. So basically, with a few uh, easy steps, I've managed to actually build myself a little cozy blacksmith thingy. Yay, look at it. It's beautiful. Uh, okay, I kind of would like to have a touch over here as well. Okay, maybe not exactly here. Hold on a second. If I'm going to make you... There you go. That works. And then maybe add a few more touches over here in the actual blacksmith because it's dark as hell over here. Okay, maybe a bit more in the middle. Okay, it's not exactly in the middle, but it's it's fine anyway. Uh, also, I would like to build this thing somewhere here. Hmm. Hold on a second. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna remove this thing, there we go. The dresser and build this thing here. There we go. That's that's nice. And then we're gonna change the walls. I said we're gonna change the walls. Like such. Hey. <laughs> Like, this is the most basic building in Terraria, you know? Like, without. Th this is like nothing fancy whatsoever. It's just like super, super simple stuff. And still, it's pretty! Well, of course, for like a Terraria standards, right? I mean, obviously, this is not Doom uh, or everything. Uh, okay, want to get probably this thing done here? Sure, why not? Just add this wall here. Come on, somehow. Work with me, game. Ugh! Okay, maybe not like that. Remove this thing. Fill up the background. Ha! <laughs> nice. So with the blacksmith done, I think we can actually try to do uh, some exploring. So I am basically in the middle of the entire map, right? There's a. Okay, I don't think that this cruise room is that huge. Dead wheat. Yeah, that's that's nice. I need to try to get to one of the edges of the map and hopefully find myself an angler because that's gonna be like kind of necessary for the entire thing to work. Uh, right, so drop the remaining money that I got in one of the chests and basically let's hope for the uh, for whatever reason that I'll be able to get to the to my destination. I also think I got a heart somewhere here. Maybe it was in the piggy bank. Let's see. Yeah, there's one. Okay, is there anything else we could try to use? Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna actually drop some of the items back in the base. Hunter potion. Okay, leave it as it is. Uh, yeah, there's some cash, but I can leave it in the chest. Apple, okay, rubies, sapphires, topaz. I could try to make myself later on a face blade. That would be lovely. Lemon, consumable material. Yeah, mineral, whatever. Nobody cares. Put this thing over here. And what can I make with the whoopee cushion? It's used to make an item, but I, by the love of God, I don't remember what item. Okay, and do not use this thing by any chance, because if you're gonna use that Eye of Kahulu, then you're gonna summon the boss. And I'm really not prepared to fight with the boss right now. Right, drop this crap inside. All of it. Same goes for the star. Right, I think we got some supplies. So I am free to go, boys! Right. Maybe I should actually wait for, you know, for, for more thing. <laughs> I don't think that going in the middle of the night would actually then again. Going in the middle of the night would give me an advantage that... Once sun is gonna go out, I should be further out, further ahead. Oh, wait, great, the zombie, I didn't spot him. Uh, that's the first thing. And the second thing, I got the boost from the underground, which means that my traveling around should be a little bit faster. Ah, oh, crap, that's zombies. That's a lot of zombies. 
And they really want my face! Fight! Defeat the zombies at all costs! Okay, so not bad. So far so good. Rain hat. I got a rain hat, really. <laughs> That's lovely. I was not expecting we're gonna get a rain hat. Stay away. Stay away. I got this. Yup. And up to the water. And push forward. So we're getting closer to the chrism, boys. All right. You ready? I know I'm not ready. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's the chrism, right? How do I know? Well, the stench of living tissue is surrounding this place. And of course, we got. Oh, uh, crap. Why did I thought that picking the chrism as the event, I mean, the main enemy of, of this world, is gonna be a good idea? Well, why, why did I thought so? Ah! The demolition guy has arrived. Good! So now I can actually buy myself some bombs. That's gonna come really handy later on. Because I still have to finish my dungeon elevator. I mean, hell elevator! <laughs> can somebody please keep those things away from me? Come on! Why it's so dark? Uh, wait, didn't the night already end it? Oh, it's really dark, man. It's really dark. Right, go, uh, we're gonna gather some death with as well. Just get through it! Get through it! How the fuck do people get through this region without dying? At the very beginning of the adventure in Terraria is just beyond me, especially on this difficulty. Oh my god! Come on! Fight! Fight! Harder! Stronger! I'm actually making a lot of damage. <laughs> Run away! Run away! Yep! I don't see anything! I don't know where I am! Oh! Oh great, it's the jungle! Oh no! The jungle's right next to the chrism. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Ah! This is bad! Oh shit. Can you like stay away? Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. The zoologists have arrived. Do I need like a zoo file? Shit, I don't have my walls. Yep. Shut the fu Son of a bitch! Back to this place once again, and this time I'm gonna bloody a secure it. Uh, but then again, I need to keep in mind that eventually the cruiseman will try to take over uh, the control over the jungle, and that's gonna be that's gonna be bad. There's also a chest over here. Head back. How lovely. Want of sparkling. Nice! The very first caster item that I have. Oh wait, <laughs> wrong button. Oh yeah! Uh, okay, take it to the chest as well. Right, put some light over here. Like, take out this thing. Ah, much better. Right. Jungle. Like... Uh, there is basically n not a harder sector than the jungle. Okay, maybe expect hell. But jungle? Oh yeah, a lot of fun happens in the jungle. Like, you know, you know that song, Welcome to the Jungle, we got funny games? Yeah, the jungle literary is just like that, just without funny games. Yeah, the power of the weapon, boys, the power of my weapon. Look at it. <laughs> you want to go inside? Come on, come on, try. Come on, give it- oh my god, you guys, can you like stop spawning for like five seconds? I really want to go outside and grab that one plant. Ah, Jesus. Well, they just keep on knocking on my door, boys. They just keep on knocking on my door. Come on, a bit faster. Oh, they've dropped a burger. <laughs> really? A burger? <laughs> Why? Why did you drop it a burger? Okay, I think, I, I think I'm uh, free to go. Right, I'm gonna grab quickly the plant. Okay, moon glow seeds. Whoop. What? <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I hate the Christmas. This is the worst. Worst part about the jungle? The stupid ass plants that want you dead. Okay, uh, I need to figure out a way to get the hell out of here. Well, cause this is gonna get big, difficult and difficult and more difficult every single bloody ass moment. How the hell that zombie managed to get inside? Oh no. There's a zombie. Somehow a zombie managed to get inside of my encampment. 
Can you imagine starting the game in a standard like spawning in the in, in the default biome? You, sp you spawn in a jungle. Oh, that would be a fun experience. Oh, I'd love to experience that thing. That what the fuck was that? I see something over there. Hello? Who's there? Who's behind the wall? Nobody. Right, okay. So we're gonna make ourselves a uh, cozy little entrance over here. Uh, how about you gonna fuck off? There's another so Oh, there's a really small zombie. And there's a fucking ass thingy over there. That's literally right now in my encampment. So even if I want to go back, I have to first defeat the stupid plant. Yay. Okay. Please tell me there's nothing gonna be over here that's gonna bite me. Okay. So far so good. Right. Once this situation will be stabilized, uh, I need to make sure that we're gonna secure the jungle. The jungle is gonna be really important. And I cannot allow the crimson to take it over. Because if that's gonna happen, we can already restart the game. We can restart the game, restart the world, we have failed Terraria. Terraria is gonna go to shit. Managed to make myself a little entrance over here. So now, I can continue. Come on, get down, down here. I want to kill you! There you go. Ah oh, shit, here comes another one. <laughs> right into my little manhole. <laughs> oh, the tactic never gets old. Why? Why are you a thing? Oh my god, I hate the crimson. I really hate it with a passion. The worst part is that the crimson, crimson hates me as well. With passion. Come on, get over here. And finally dead. Now this thing. Okay, almost there. Ugh! Almost there. Almost home. Shit, bats. Jungle bats. I need better equipment. Whew! Why am I sweating? And this is Terraria is a nice fucking experience. Yeah. Probably people who say that were never playing on the stupid ass master difficulty. Whew! Right. Cool thing that the zombies have decided to go down there. But I'm gonna go across, thank you. Right. Continue pushing forward, boys. What the fuck? I... I cannot move? What? <laughs> what? What the fuck is this? Feral bite. What? Who the fuck bite at me? Okay, this, this is wrong. Something is not right with this game. <laughs> okay, ah! Good thing is that I can actually I can actually just go forward since most of the jungle surface is quite flat, so that's a great help. And also I would love to go down on the ground since the jungle has like huge amount and I say huge amount of resources. But right now that's not gonna happen. Not because I don't want to, but because ow! I'm gonna die for sure. Hell, the stupid bat is hitting me for like 50. Whew. Yeah, go to the jungle to look for resources. Problem is, we'll be able to survive in the jungle. That's a, that's a completely different story. Okay. I think I've managed to get through. Whew. It should get a lot easier right now. Right, get the plant. Hey, Blum. Mushrooms. And a little water thingy. Because by the oh, there's a jungle over. I mean, a cave over there. Nice. Caves are awesome to visit because they often have some really cool ass shit in them. What happened on this one? Hey. Okay, going deeper. Hmm. Yeah, have some stuff in the caves. They said. Fucking great experience. They said. Yay, we've managed to get to the coast. Whew. Right. And nobody here to be seen. Hmm. Okay, that's not good. The heck is this? Shell pile. Hey, this is new. Yo, this this is actually new. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Okay. Normally, at the very edge of the ocean biome, there is a chest. Yeah, but I don't think I'll be able to get to it. No, 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 too far away. Oh, I'm so fucking lucky. A goblin scout. <laughs> That's nice. Did he just, no, he didn't die. Okay, great. 
The Goblin Scout has a possibility that he's gonna drop you an item that will allow you to summon the, uh, the Goblin Army. Which is, how to put it, basically a free loot, almost. So, uh, yeah, if you'd actually be so kind and die, maybe I'll be able to... Uh, okay, apparently he dropped a scrap of metal, uh, I mean a scrap of cloth that I can use to craft that thing. I don't remember how that thing exactly went, but... Uh, right, I need a wooden platform. Where's a wooden platform? I don't see my wooden platforms around... There you are. Right, uh, okay, let's get this thing done. Okay, put the fucking shell thingy. Right. There's something... Oh, come on! Give me a minute! I need to work over here! Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Right, put some crap inside of this bullshit. Such as the seeds, jungle grass, you know, stuff like that. Okay, what's this? Tainted cloth. I don't remember how many of those I need to gather in order to build myself the goblin army standard, which will allow me, basically speaking, to, well, summon the goblin army. Pink slime has awoken. Are you fucking serious right now? Ah, oh, crap. In the jungle! Okay. Right, sure, let's, let's try. I mean, what's the worst that could possibly happen? That's a bad! Ow. Okay. Uh... I am go- I'm going different directions! Shit, 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 shit! Very fucking funny. So, since I had a glorious death, I quickly went back to my encampment. I've grabbed myself the potion, which I bomb mistake I've drank. Fuck is that? <laughs> I took the bombs! And I'm gonna try to do a bit of a farming in the- in the jungle. I don't know how that thing is gonna go. So, uh, yeah, let's let's just use maybe a few bombs here and there and hopefully I'll be able to get some resources before the potion is gonna disappear completely. And, well, after that, we'll see. Is this actually the right way to go? Probably it's not. Will I continue to go this way even though it's probably not the right way? Yeah, sure. I mean, I also need to separate kind of the, uh, the jungle from the... From the from the crimson, so uh, that's one way to do it, I guess. You feel an evil presence watching you. Ex fucking excuse me, what? What evil fucking presence watching me? I don't remember that thing. Should I remember that thing? Ah crap! The moment when I wanted to go to the jungle and you know try to farm some stuff, I get that evil presence is watching you. Okay, not what? Just just in case, because I don't remember what that thing was. It was a boss, but I don't remember which one. And I really, I'm really, really, really not prepared for that thing right now. Right. Okay, we can try to do some farming over here. Yep. Mm, I think that's copper. Not a big use. But so is something, right? And I got bombs for days. And also, there's a fucking ass zombie going towards me. Yo, dude, can you get a life and like, fuck off? Fuck off! Stay away from me! What? Okay, thank you. Okay, keep on throwing the bombs, I guess. I'm looking for, like, gold and stuff like that. Too bad that the potion wear off. Because me and my clumsy ass fat finger... Butterfingers, so-called. Butterfingers, so-called, actually. Um, I've drinking the potion. Ah, uh, just as expected. Right, out of, out of Cthulhu. Sure, sure, sure. Fuck off! <laughs> oh, I don't have arena to fight with that bastard. Ah, oh, NPCs, you better help me. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so bad. Oh, thank God, he disappeared. Whew! Since the imminent imminent threat of the uh, Eye of Kahulu has been, hello, have been dealt with. What the fuck are you, red slime? Okay, this is the first time I see you. Somebody like you. And of course, jungle bats. Uh, from all of the possible creatures, why it always has to be a bloody ass jungle bat? Also, there's a fucking ass roller coaster down here. Well, last time when I found a roller coaster, it was really worth it, so. I hope it's worth, gonna be worth it this time as well. Come on. I should probably try to set up a camp upstairs, but. The thing is, I don't have a bed. And also, later on, I will have difficulties to get back to my home. Which is, you know, actually a big ass issue. Hey, get back here! There you go. Right, I don't see a jack shit. 
Hello, hello, hello. What do we have over here? Okay, yeah, the jungle. The jungle just loves to bite you in the ass. Okay, maybe we won't encounter any fucking spiders over here. What I'm hoping for, though, are ores. Iron, silver, gold. All the good stuff. And maybe, just maybe I'm gonna be lucky enough and find a bunch of zombies stuck in a little tiny fucking cave. Interesting. Outside of the jungle that tries to constantly kill you, it's probably one of the most interesting locations in the entire game. I mean, biomes. And I don't remember what that thing was. I mean, it looks like a wasp nest. It is a bee nest! Alright. Wow! Okay, don't get too close to that thing. And now I'm poisoned. Ugh. Okay. Not to self. Stay away from that thing. This is nice. Look at this. <laughs> oh, shipping station. This is ammo penetration for melee weapons. That's nice. And a chest. Ow, shit. No! No, 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 I can do a double jump. Yes. Uh, Night Owl, Recall Potion, Healing Potion, Shuriken, stuff like that. Okay. Thank you very much. I feel a lot better right now. With answers, answers like this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take the door as well. Thank you. Rich Mahoney. Mmm. Sounds delicious. Whoa, what's that thing shining in the distance? Right, I just hope that I won't meet any bloody ass, you know... Terrarian eater <laughs> around here. I actually prefer to be quite alive. Thank you so much, game. I am trying to build this thing over here. Thank you. Yeah, there's one. I should have expected that thing to be over there. Inside of the magical chest? Um, Hole in dispenser. Just for special crafting. Silver coins, silver bars, money. Stuff of a grove. Creates grass and dirt. Increases alchemy plant collection when you use it to gather. Oh, that's nice. It's actually gonna come very handy. Like, extremely handy. Thank you, game. And not that far from the previous one, I found another one. <laughs> the game starts to like me, man. I think the game is actually f acknowledging that I am the best boy around here. I am gonna be the winner of this game. I am gonna be the winner and conqueror of this world. And it's basically giving up. So, you know, that's great. Uh, okay, you know what? I want a sticky bomb. I want a sticky bomb, and that's gonna make my life so much easier. There you go. Right, sticky bomb. Hey, Bob! Fro! Oh shit! Duh! Very funny. Eh! Sticky Bob! Oh yeah, that's a lot of silver over there. Yep. And kaplow! Nice! Oh shit, a round of icky bombs. So maybe two more. And Fro! And get out of the water. Hey! Okay, maybe try to not to kill! Die! Phew! That's close! Yeah, silver ore, man! As I said, the jungle is full of death, but also full of- Oh, I see, I see a plant, I see a plant! I see a plant, and I really would like that plant! The chest can wait, the plant, not exactly! Okay, go down, go down, go down! We need seeds, we need plants, because there is no fucking way I'm gonna survive master mode without having, you know, some proper- uh, some proper buffs. Ah, yeah, Moonglow Seeds. I don't remember exactly what that thing was used for, but no matter what it's gonna be, it's gonna be useful. Right, and now, let's try to go over here. Okay. Woo! Expanding, growing, and exploring. And inside, boomstick! Fuck yeah, shotgun, rope, silver, uh, silver coins, and honey dispenser once again. Sure! I'm always gonna find a use for that thing. I would like to have that torch, please. Why can I cannot take it? Hello? Okay. You want to be like that game? Sure, by all means. Green torch. I'm gonna put that sing single, uh, simple one. Wait, is this made out of mud? The fuck is this? Yeah, it's a mudstone brick. Interesting. Like, one day if I want to make myself a house made out of mud, that's probably one way to do it, and oh, that's something nice as well. Eh. Come on, boys! 
Open up a passage for daddy. Just like that. See? This is why I needed the bombs. Makes my life so much easier. The hell is this? I don't remember this. The fuck? Okay. This is this is weird. This is really weird. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, it's marble. Oh, okay, it's a marble biome. Uh oh, he comes a slime. <laughs> Suck it, Mr. Slime. Suck it. The fuck is this? A hoplite? <laughs> of course, marble, and we're gonna fight the hoplite. All right, okay. Sure, by all means, just stay where you are. Don't move. It's gonna, it's gonna tickle a little bit. Oh, he dropped something. A javelin. Okay. Instead of a bunch of hoplites, I also found myself a heart. And they're really trying to throw those javelins at me. Which is interesting. I've never encountered those guys before. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for the contribution towards my survival. I don't know what's happening down there, but... Stay. There are a lot of plants down there. And they... Oh, what? There's one over there. Right. If you guys could be so kind and actually, like, you know, like, fuck off. That would be great. That would be just grand. All right. And I, guess what? I don't have enough fucking us space to use that thing. Thank you. Okay. Time to go back. Well, the only thing for me to do right now is just sit at the coast and I guess, well, I don't know. We're going to try to do something again. Is that the ankler? <laughs> Found the ankler, boys. Wake up, you lazy motherfucker! <laughs> we got a city to burn! <laughs> Sipping angler. Thanks, I guess. Oh, that was, that was a uh, fast grow. Right! Sure! Okay, so he loves to live at the coast. And the best part about this is that if I'm gonna provide him with a suitable, like, housing thingy, uh, then he is gonna make me all the pylon. And with the pylon, well, we can make our life a little bit easier than usual. That's a turtle. The hell, man? What's a turtle doing over here? But ladies and gentlemen, I think this is actually a good moment to leave this episode as over here. I need to gather some resources. We need to go to the coast, build the angler a house, move with him. I believe the demonologist likes to... Uh, the angler accepts the demonologist. So we're gonna set them in one house and that thing should spawn me the pylon and basically I will no longer have to run all the way across the map To get to this position over here like uh, To get over here. I will just have to use the teleport and that's gonna be a great audition Also, there's still like a like shit lots of things we could try to look for in the oh, there's one gold over here I've left one gold behind me <laughs> No, <laughs> God damn it but yeah, basically, that's the plan. That's gonna be the plan we're gonna try to do during the next episode. Because for now, I'm gonna leave this thing as of here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the like episode. Please help a lot. See you all in the next video.